Hey guys, Fazzy back here, and today it is time for episode 20 of our Calgary Flames franchise mode here in NHL 24. In today's episode, we will get through the first half of the 2028-29 NHL season. Hopefully we'll be a good team, this is what we are looking like. For the most part, we did stay the same from last year. Did end up resetting Stammer to that one year $2.85 million contract. Also brought in Luar Sterainen on a one year $3 million contract. Could switch those two if needed. Defensively, just brought in Justin Barron from the Habs, traded him for Poirier. And outside of that, the rest of the defense remained the same. And we brought back Ukapeka Lukanen on a one year deal. So I think our team should be pretty good here for the most part. I think this will be another shorter episode. We just try to look to get through the first half of the season, kind of evaluate where we are, and then make uh, plans according to that. So jumping into the first game against Anaheim, one nothing Mikey Burchild after one for the Ducks, four nothing Ducks after two. That's not great, and six to one for the Ducks. So it is just one game again. It is our first game of the season. I do believe in the squad we were the second best team in the entire NHL last year, so I think we can rebound. As I say that, 7-1 win against the Chicago Blackhawks. Up next here against the Colorado Avalanche. In Colorado, that's a 6-5 loss in the shootout. Against the Arizona slash Utah Coyotes, who are 0-4 on the year. Beat them 2-1 in the shootout. Let's go switch the goaltenders out. We will get Ukpeka Lukanen in there for the first start of the year for him. Wolf can take a bit of a break here for the next two games against Dallas. First game against the Stars, we do win by a score of 4-2. And the second game against them here is a 7-4 loss. So we're letting in a little bit too many goals in a couple of these games here early on. Switching Dustin Wolf back in the net here for the next couple. At least until we have the back-to-back -back there against Tampa and Buffalo. Starting things off against the Minnesota Wild, who are at 500. Do beat them by a score of three to one and against the Sabres, who are six and two on the year. That is a six-five win against the Sabres. So there is back-to-back -back wins there for us. Once again, let's switch out the goalies here. Dustin Wolf will be the backup here in the back-to-back -back. game against the Tampa Bay Lightning here in Tampa Bay is a four-three loss in overtime. Switch out the goalies here once again. All these wins here early in the year, especially, do really matter want to get onto a good start here and not have a slow first half like we did last year so another game here against the dallas stars that is a seven to three win followed by a game against the washington capitals here in calgary that is a three to two loss in the shootout back to back here against montreal in buffalo against montreal is a one to nothing shutout so just couldn't generate any offense there unfortunately once again, let's go switch the goalies. Uh, switch the goalies in the AHL too. May as well do that since auto rotate goalies is off. So let's take a look at some of our player stats here 12 games in. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. So looking at forwards, Ranton and Higgins, 14 14, that's pretty good. Sorry, Stammer still producing on the third line. Wolski's doing good. Hanzik, 7 and 12, that's really good. Again, only 6. It's a little concerning, one goal. Huberto, five assists. Outside of that, there's nothing super concerning. Defensively, everyone's a plus player, which is really nice. And goaltending, uh, Lukanen not doing great, but small snap size, and Wolf is doing pretty good to start the year. So no changes really needed here. No holes I can see in the lineup. Against the Sabres, it's a 4-1 loss to kick things off. Switch out the goalies here once again, with that being a back-to-back. -back. Dustin Wolf back in, and we are ready to continue on with the sim. So going up against the Detroit Red Wings here in Detroit, it's a 5-2 loss. That's now three in a row for us. Against the Wild, it's a 6-2 win. So we answer big, score some goals there. Trade coming in for Pittsburgh, we'll say no. Against the New York Rangers here in Calgary, 6-5 loss in overtime. So at least we pick up the point. Hagen's now leading our team in scoring. 5-1 uh, win against the Flyers in the first half of the back-to-back -back against Nashville. Uh, once again, we will switch out the goalies here. Lukanen, you can get in there. 
And let's see if we can get a win against the Preds here. Uh, Moran, that is in the AHL, just replace player. 4-2 loss to the Predators, as it looks like we have a very good Montreal team coming up. Want to make sure we have our best lineup here, get Dustin Wolf back in. Anything we want to do here, maybe switch a Ginla, get Coronado in the top line, or Wolski. Don't really know what I want to do here. Like, there's not a ton of holes. Let's honestly, let's try it. Let's get the shooter with the two playmakers. I guess Ranton's not really a playmaker. Uh, defensively, again, like, everyone's a plus player, but I think maybe we just need to switch it up a bit. Get Markin get the two young guys up there. Markin and Dickinson. Anderson Weger can go to the second pair. Up against the Canadians, who are sitting 13-4-3, 7-2-1 in their last 10. That is a 4-2 loss against the Canadians. So we sit 8-7-4 and four against the Detroit Red Wings. That is a 5-1 loss. So we're sitting at 500 here, and we're, we're definitely a better team than that. Uh, Moran, that's AHL against the Sharks. It's a 3-0 shutout. Let's get back uh, over an AHL 500 against the Kraken. That is a win in the shootout for back-to-back -back wins. And against the Canucks here. That is another win. So there we go. There's three in a row. I still think this team overall should be better than 11-8-2. Whatever record was there, it's not great. Uh, when looking at our scoring here, Haggins has dropped off a bit. Rantanen's dropped off a bit. Only 18 points. It's not good. Stammer's still killing it at 38 there. Wolski. Hansik's having a pretty good year on the bottom six. Huberto, 10 assists, no goals. Defensively, Uyghur leading the way, but everyone's still there. Plus player, no minuses. Goaltending, Wolf doing good. Lukanen not doing very good here. So, I think I want to trade for a backup goalie here. It's the only real hole that I'm actually seeing with this team, if I'm being totally honest. Like, we can always mix and match the lines here, try different things. But the backup goalie is the only thing that's really kind of concerning me now. And really, in this franchise mode, just in general, we haven't done great in the backup position. So, make a couple of changes to the lineup here just to try and spark something. But I think that's the only move I'm going to try and make here. Like, defensively, we're solid. Offensively, we're really good. Wolf has played very good to start things out. Just, yeah, I think it's just Lukanen. So I'm going to go look around the NHL, try and find a trade, and I will be back with you guys. All right, so I am going back after Eric Olsen. Try to get him in free agency, giving up a second rounder. Lukanen, just the contract for him, just so we can make the trade go through. No value really there. Uh, and you have Garnett, who we drafted in the second round this year. He could be okay, who knows. Olsen, he's up to an 83 now. He has yet to play in the NHL, still looking to break through. Putting up pretty decent numbers in the AHL, not too bad. Value way on their side, but I wanted to overpay. Just good goalie prospect. Pittsburgh, what do you say? Trade accepted. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure we gave him enough there, because really, Lukanen has some value in game, where really the way he's been playing, he probably wouldn't. So, just to get him to take that one-year contract, wanted to overpay a little bit for him. So... Eric Olsen, you will be our backup now. You'll actually get to start this first game here, since I believe that was a back-to-back -back situation that Wolf was in. So Olsen will get his first career NHL start here, and it will be with the Calgary Flames against the LA Kings. So let's jump into this one. Why not? We'll see his first game. First period, one goal apiece, Rantanen and Buchnevich. Second period, still 1-1. One -one. Pretty good goaltending from both sides. The third still 1-1. One, one. Overtime, still 1-1. One, one. We're going to a shootout. And we win it in the shootout. So that's a very, very impressive debut from our young goalie. Put up a 970 save percentage. Definitely not sustainable, but very good numbers nonetheless, especially for an NHL debut. So let's just give him the next couple of games here. Let's uh, rest Wolf for a little bit. We'll see what this guy is all about against the Arizona Coyotes. That is a big win there by a score of 6-3 against the Chicago Blackhawks. Anderson goes down. That's not great. Don't think it was a long-term injury, though. So on the defense, that just means that Baron will come up. And Soloviov, I believe, is our scratch player. will come in. 80 overall could be should be fine on the bottom pair. Shootout, we will just substitute in, I guess, again, I don't see him in the lineup there. 
So we'll get him as one of our shooters and we should be good to go. So against the Chicago Blackhawks, it is a 4-2 win. Going up against the Florida Panthers now. It's another win by a score of 6-1 as Anderson is back already. So yeah, it wasn't a long-term injury at all. Let's just put everything back there to how it was. So Baron will go back to the third pairing and Sloviov we will switch you out with Anderson. Perfect. So ready to continue on with the Sim against the Bruins. 3-2 loss. And against the Flyers here. Uh, trades coming in say no. 7-3 loss. So back-to-back -back losses there, but pretty good run from Olsen. Take a look at his numbers here quick. And we'll switch out the goalies while we're there. So Olsen 9-2-2-2-5-9. Six wins in four games. Very, very good numbers for him in his first NHL stretch. But we're good to go again. We have Wolf back in the net. He has had a bit of an extended break. And that's paid off for him as we he shuts out the Rangers by a score of 4 to nothing. Continue on here against the Vancouver Canucks, divisional rival. 4-3 win against the Canucks. So game against the Anaheim Ducks here. We'll get Olsen back in there. A couple of back-to-backs here. Would love to at least get three points in each of them as I see. We are only in a wild card spot. That's not great. Looking at just some of our player stats here. So Ranton leading the way. Scoring just seems to be down for our team here. Kinlan's doing good, Wolski's good, but Hagen's only 25. It seems maybe a little bit more spread out, but no one's really, really producing like crazy. Hanzik though, 18, already a career high in half the amount of games. I don't see any like real minuses though. Like it's tough with this team, especially on defense. Everyone defensively is playing pretty good. Goaltending wise, now that we made that trade, they're both playing pretty good themselves. So we can really just continue on. So against the Ducks, play them twice here in a couple in about a week here. Up against the Predators here. That is a 3-1 loss. So back-to-back -back losses. Is there any other changes we can make to this roster? So Zari up there. Let's try and get Coronado back up there. Hagen's really has to be the playmaker for those two guys. Put everything kind of back otherwise how it was. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this team should be simming a little bit better. It's hard to say. Uh, Ram Picklet, it's the AHL. Big one against the Ducks there by a score of 6-2. Against the LA Kings, it's a 4-1 win. And up against the New Jersey Devils, it's a 4-0 loss. So going up here a couple of days against the Colorado Avalanche. That is a 3-0 win. Big shutout there for Wolf. Uh, Uyghur goes down. Again, I don't think it's too too long so that's not the end of the world obviously you'd rather have your one of your best defenders in there but that's all right move baron up throw Solovyov in there and i don't have to change any other lines so that's good big win against the toronto maple leafs as we continue to march on toward the halfway mark a trade coming in from toronto but that's nothing against the jackets you lose to the not great jackets this year it's not good against the islanders that is a three nothing shutout loss Game 41 will jump into last game of the episode against the Vegas Golden Knights. Below 500, we need a win. First period, 1-0, Jack Eichel. Second period, 2-0, and the third, 3-0 shutout. So we finished the halfway point of the year, 21-16-4. Currently out of a playoff position, and the scoring just on this team is definitely down from last year by quite a bit. Hagen's only 30 and 41. That's just not good enough for him. One goal for Huberto. That's brutal. Defensively, everyone's still they're playing all right. Marking at a minus one, but like that's not too bad. And both goalies, like they're putting up very respectable numbers for us. Like you normally don't see goaltending numbers like that in this game, so that's definitely not the issue. Just I don't think we're scoring enough goals here, and we're just losing close hockey games. So. Hopefully we can turn that around in the next one. With that being said, in the next episode, we will go through the second half of the 2028-29 season, go through the trade deadline, everything like that, and get ready, hopefully for the playoffs. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video.